Hello again, this is Craig with the Aquaponics Haven. I know it's been a while. Um, I have been uh, taking care of some business and stuff. and um, Came up here and took over a church as a pastor, and so it's been taking up a lot of my time. But anyway, I want to show you something today, how to build and it's a uh, a auto exterior auto siphon um, that is on the outside of the bed. You know, a lot of times when you have a grow bed that that is small, and you place your standpipe in the middle and put the pipe, and then you have to put a guard pipe. You're looking at um, something that you've got to deal with the roots getting into the guard pipe and having to clean them out and stuff. And so it's a it, gets to be a hassle and you can't really plant nothing close to the to the um, guard pipe so this is will eliminate that it's on the outside so I'm going to show you how to build it first off you're going to need an inch and a half um, T and you're going to need some reducers from inch and a half to three quarter two of them okay you're going to need a piece of pipe inch and a half piece of pipe and a cap, inch and a half cap to go on the piece of pipe and you're going to need a piece of three quarter inch um, PVC pipe you'll need one that's about probably two and a half to three inches long of course this is be your premises right here but anyway what you're going to do first is take one of these um, the reducers and see how that when you take a pipe um, and you stick it there and it stops it has a stopping point in it but um, what you want to do is take your pocket knife put your po take your pocket knife and what you want to do is remove that little ring in there I don't know if you can see it there's a ring inside and what you're going to do is take your pocket knife and just do it slowly. It takes a little bit of time. And you just shave it a little bit off at a time until you're able to take this three-quarter inch pipe and you can shove it through it like that. So this is going to be your stand pipe. And after you get that done, you take and you place that like that on the pipe and so what this will be is this is your stand pipe this will um, allow you to adjust the height of water in your bed so if you want it you want it higher you can move it up higher and um, if you want it lower you can just turn it to, to it on um, to wherever you want it to but the ticket is is that you have got to shave this just enough so that the pipe will slide in there but still will seal so there is a fine line there I have ruined one before so there's a fine line there um, so you can do this with two inch pipe and just buy the reducers from two to three quarter but you've got more space for it to build a suction on so I went with an inch and a half and it seems to be working great so but make sure you cut this pipe long enough that um, it will that you can have it enough for the um, stand pipe plus enough for your drain so we won't have to add on to it if you cut it too short it's always better to make it too long because you can always shorten it but you have to you can make it longer but you have to put a coupling on it so anyway with that and then you have your um your pipe that covers your stand pipe just like in a um regular um siphon bell siphon but what that does is it slips right over that and it's best to to um glue this glue this glue this part this one right here but do not glue this but just glue that right and then this will be placed in there and that is for to 
coming from your bed. And this pipe will go there and this will be inserted to the to your bed like this is your bed here and it will be connected like this and this will be on the outside. So just if you ever mess with bell siphons um, you understand that a lot of times you have to help it along by um, causing the water to not flow as easy. So you may put an elbow down there and then come to another elbow and um, maybe even turn it just a little bit so that the the water when it comes down that it just does not run out just just um, just freely but leave a little bit of a what you would call a um, I guess resistance for the water to come out and so therefore it helps start the siphon better so it's something if you mess with bell siphons you know that you have to work with it to sometimes to get it it's, it's adjustments adjustments adjustment of the water adjustment of your pipes um, I've even took one time to get a get a um, bell siphon to work I melt I got a piece of um, PVC pipe hot and I squashed it so that it would um, restrict the water flow and that took care of my problem that I was having with it starting so but anyway this is the part of how to build it and I'm going to show you now what it looks like when you um, put it on your bed so let's see what happens here we go um, a little small bed, rock bed that I'm working on. Um, a 55 gallon drum cut in half. And, but anyway, here is it connected to the outside of the bed. Um, I just used a 3 quarter inch female and male adapter with threads to, um, to put it together. It may leak because I have not glued some of the parts. This is just demonstration of how it works. But here you can see um, how I've got it connected and I took the pipe it down to where that um, it's almost touching the bottom and what that happens is when it starts to siphon it will cause it to um, suck water all the way down to where it hits that bottom right there and begin to break the siphon then. Um, so anyway, this is, it will not fill up all the way because I didn't have the stand pipe all the way up. So I don't want to stand out here. It is a brisky 35 degrees right now outside in North Georgia. So um, I want to get this done and get back inside. And so it will start here in a minute. Okay, there you go. The water begins to flow out of there. So I'm going to start here in just a few minutes. I see the pipe jumping a little bit. Yes, it's fixing to start. believe we have a goat. There we go. Now we're going. 
Anyway, there you go. The bell siphon. So, try it out. See what you think. Give me, leave me some comments. Um, it it works, but you can see I've I've pulled the water out of it and it's still working. So um, so this is Craig with Aquaponics Haven. Um, I'm going to be doing some moving. I, I haven't built me a greenhouse and I'm not going to be able to right now. So cause of funds. So I'm fixing to move my beds and my tanks and stuff into my garage that is over there so and I'm gonna have a inside um, set up so with lights and different things like that so stay tuned for that and um, I'll start posting more videos um, on more things and some things that I'm growing so this is Craig. Until next time, may the Lord Jesus Christ richly bless you. You have a good day. Bye.